So you want to learn how to double your money? Okay, here's how you do it. First, deposit it in Maya, and then wait 12 years. How do I know? Rule of 72. So the rule of 72 is a quick formula you can use to calculate how long it will take for you to double your money given a certain interest rate. So for example, si Maya kasi the highest interest rate that they can give is 6%. So yung 72 divided by 6 equals 12 years. And it works the other way then. For example, you want to double your money in 10 years. 72 divided by 10 equals 7.2%. This means that you have to invest your money in an asset that yields at least 7.2% per year. Ayana, ah, this isn't clickbait. This is actual knowledge added to your brain. Hopefully by now, alam natin how important it is to save money. But what's also important is where exactly you store your savings. In this video, let's talk about how you can grow your savings faster with Maya Bank's 6% interest per annum, which I'm pretty sure is already much higher than what you're getting at your regular savings account. 0.0625%. <laughs> Yo, what's up friends? Welcome back to this video. If you're new here, what's up? My name's Nicole. Today, we're talking about savings. Specifically, saving with Maya Bank. For transparency, this video is sponsored by our friends at Maya. Para mas organized, here's how I structured this video. First, let's talk about Maya savings, what it is and whether or not it's safe to put your money there. Second, let's talk about what you can do with Maya savings, specifically yung list of features niya. And then third, we'll do a quick tutorial on how to use Maya savings. Okay, good? Let's get started. So earlier this year, PayMaya rebranded to Maya and they started to offer a lot of new features kasi gusto nila maging all-in-one money app. You can check out my previous videos for an overview of Maya, tapos a more in-depth discussion about their crypto-related features. But for this video, let's focus on growing your savings. So Maya Savings is the savings feature of Maya. Their actual digital bank is called Maya Bank Incorporated, and if you're wondering whether or not it's safe to put your money there, yep, it is. I've been saving my money with Maya since April or May, basta when they started, and I haven't encountered any problems since then. Goods naman. Maya is regulated by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, and Maya Bank Incorporated obtained their digital banking license last year, no September 2021. As a depositor, you're insured by the PDIC up to 500,000 pesos. But this doesn't mean until 500,000 lang pwede mo ka. Yung maximum limit nila is actually 5 million pesos. Kung meron ka man. <laughs> 5 million pesos in savings. And because it's a digital bank, madali lang yung process ng pag-open ng account. If you don't have Maya yet, you can download the app, sign up for an account, get verified, tapos yun, all digital yung experience from signing up to getting an actual debit card. You don't need to go to a physical branch na. Everything you can just do on your phone. Tapos they also have a new feature called usernames. So now you can set a preferred username and then you can use that username to send and receive money to friends and family or whoever you need to pay. So you don't need a QR code now to give your cell phone number tapos may mga asterisk, asterisk yung name. You can just give out your username. Ganun lang kadali. Gusto niya try You can send money to my username. <laughs> Joke lang. And what's nice also is that you can personalize your Maya card to have your username. So, sexy. Now let's talk about what you can do with Maya savings. First of course, because it's a savings account, you can earn faster on your savings. A few months ago, Maya's interest rate was at 6%. But now, you will see that the base interest rate is only 4.5%. Pero you can actually boost this interest rate back to 6% if you use Maya regularly. So all you have to do is to make use of Maya in your transactions either with the card, the QR code, or your mobile number. Or you can also pay bills in the app. And what's nice with that is that if you use Maya regularly, you also get cash back or free Bitcoin when you use Maya for your transactions. So ganun, boosted na yung interest rate mo, tapos may free cash back ka pa. And for Maya savings, unlike a regular savings account, there's no minimum balance to open an account, and there's also no minimum balance to earn interest. Kahit 10 pesos lang alaman yan, you'll still earn interest on your savings. And so what's nice with Maya savings is that you actually get paid out your interest every day. So daily yung pagbayad sa'yo ng interest. Which means na mas mabilis yung pag-compound ng savings mo. So how does this work? Pakita ko sa inyo yung computation. Alright, so let's go to Google Sheets. I made like a simple calculator for us to calculate how much interest you'll get out from Maya. You see in the Maya app na pinapakita nila kung paano nila kinakalculate yung interest. So yung formula daw is end of day balance multiplied by interest times 1 over 365. So this just represents one day out of 365 days in a year. First, let's get the daily interest kung magkano yung pay out. That's just 6% multiplied by 1 over 365. Okay, in a day, this is how much interest is applied to your balance. Parang sa daling computation, let's say nag-deposit ka ng 100,000 pesos, tapos never mo na siyang ginalaw. So if on the first day, i-calculate natin magkano yung gross interest na makukuha ng 100,000 mo. So that's just 100,000 pesos multiplied by itong interest. There. But because there's a 20% withholding tax, kailangan din natin i-calculate yun. So gross interest multiplied by withholding tax. That means yung net interest na makukuha mo on day 1 is actually 13.15 pesos. Okay, nice. Diba sabi ko may compounding effect? I'll show you the compounding effect. So on the first day, yung interest na makukuha mo is 13.15 pesos. 
So on the second day, magkano na yung balance mo? It's 100,000 plus 13.15 pesos. In the second day, yung balance mo is actually bigger than the first day na. So for the rest of the day, same lang yung formula. So gagawin ko na lang, ilalock ko to. So on the second day, actually, about 13.15 pesos lang din makukuha mo. Yung compounding effect, you'll start noticing it if 1, mas malaki yung balance mo, and 2, over a longer period of time. So, i out ko lang ha, because in a month, there's 31 days. I'll just stretch this up. Ayan. Okay, so you see this. Diba on day 1, 13.15 pesos lang yung interest makukuha mo? By the 31st day, mahano notice mo na 13.20 pesos na ano kakuha mong interest. So, what's happening here? Mas tumalaki yung interest na kukuha mo kasi yung balance that they're computing the interest on is also getting bigger. I think compounding effect. So yung net interest na kukuha mo, it's not just on the same 100,000 na you initially deposited. Kasi daily yung payout mo, lumalaki to. You notice this compounding effect more pag lumalaki yung balance mo. Let's say for example, 500,000, no? Yung nakadeposit sa Maya mo. On the first day, 65.75 pesos lang ang interest na makukuha mo. But by the 31st day, you'll be receiving 66 pesos na. So the next one is actually one of my favorite features, personal goals. So for me kasi, I like to segregate my money so that I know what I'm saving for. Yung mga goals ko nakahiwalay siya na maayos. And what's nice with developing the habit of segregating your funds depending on your goals, no? It's easier to check your progress on how close you are to achieving your savings goal. And it helps you become more disciplined din na dito maglalagay ka dito sa savings goal na to, mag-budget ka dito, papasok ko ng 5,000 dito, 1,000. Yeah, ganun siya. If you have a clear number in your head na, okay, kailangan kong mag-save ng 50,000 pesos for this phone, tapos dito mo talaga tinatabing pera mo, then it's much clearer to you, no, to become disciplined and also know how close you are to getting a phone na 50,000 pesos. I found it interesting that each personal goal is a separate and distinct account from the main Maya Savings account. So each personal goal actually has its own account number and you can directly fund it. You don't need to go through Maya Savings na, tapos i-deposit mo sa personal goal. You can set up to 5 personal goals, tapos each of those goals you can deposit until 1 million pesos to earn interest and might lifespan siya of 180 days. So let's say for example, you want to save up for a phone of 50,000 pesos. So you can create a personal goal for that. Lagyan mo lang siya, pasukan mo ng pera until you reach yung 50,000. And once na hit mo na yung 50,000 pesos on that personal goal, automatically mag-close siya and the money will be transferred back to your Maya Savings account. And let's say for example, you change your mind while you're saving up for a personal goal, madali lang siya i-close tapos i-withdraw mo yung money back to your savings account. Next, let's talk about how to transfer funds. There's actually a lot of ways to move money to and from your Maya Savings account. So first is your Maya Wallet. So your Maya Wallet and Maya Savings are actually two separate accounts. Maya Savings is how you earn interest, tapos Maya Wallet is just for your regular transactions. The money that you have in your Maya Wallet actually doesn't earn interest. Kailangan mo siyang ipasok sa Maya Savings. But for example, kailangan mo magbayad ng bill, bumili ng load, or you pay for stuff with your uh, Maya Wallet, you can actually withdraw from your Maya Savings to your Maya Wallet. Next way to transfer, yun nga, yung new feature nila is through usernames. Yun nga, kailangan mo lang ibigay yung username mo. Like for example, if you want to send money to me, Send it to Nicole Alba. Yun yun, ganun kadali. You can also send money to other Maya wallets. You can just easily transfer funds to them. That's like that. You can also transfer money to other Maya savings accounts. So one, from one Maya savings to another Maya savings. Shoo! And you can also send money to other bank accounts and e-wallets. Maya is offering free transfers with Pesanet until December 31, 2022. Tapos magkakaroon din ng Instapay feature. As of right now, it's only available to select users. But if you're gonna send money through Instapay, may 15 pesos transaction fee sir. Tapos, if you want to withdraw from your Maya Savings account, first, i-transfer mo siya sa Maya Wallet, and then, with your debit card, i-withdraw mo from any banknet ATM. Tapos, other bonus features that you can do with Maya Savings, of course, you can check your transaction history, and then you can generate bank statements and request for a bank certificate. Of course, if you need it for visa application or any proof of income document, Kung medyo secretive ka, you can actually hide your account details, no? i-blur mo siya. Tapos if ever you send money regularly to a certain bank account, pwede mo rin siya i-favorite. And then you can also track your transfer limits. Now, let's do a quick mini tutorial on how to use Maya Savings. In case this is your first time. So kung gusto niyong mag-open ng Maya Savings account, first you need to have a Maya account. Madali lang yung process, you just need to submit one valid primary ID or two secondary IDs. Tapos magre-record kayo ng 4 to 5 second video selfie. Pagkatapos nun, you'll receive a text confirmation within 24 hours kung successful yung pag-upgrade ng account mo. So yung Maya Savings, you can just scroll to the right. Ito na. So if it's your first time, makikita mo na you can open a Maya Savings account. Tapos nakalist dun lahat ng features nun. First, let's talk about how to deposit on your Maya Savings. Madali lang siya. So all I have to do is to click the deposit button. Tapos I need to indicate saan magagaling yung deposit. Depending on where I'm depositing from, sometimes it's going to show a list of instructions. Now, if you want to transfer money from your Maya savings account to other banks, e-wallets, or to your other Maya wallet, you just need to tap on transfer my money. Then you need to choose the destination of transfer. 
type the amount, tapos confirm the transfer. If you need to transfer money to a different bank account, you can actually do it for free with PesoNet. You can transfer up to 1 million pesos per day. Now, let's talk about how to withdraw money from your My Savings account. First, you need to have the debit card. Okay, kasi ito yung gagamitin mo pang withdraw. Once you have a card, you just need to transfer money from your savings account to your Maya wallet. And then afterwards, you can withdraw from your Maya wallet at any banknet ATM machine. Hopefully, you guys learned something new and helped you decide whether or not you want to open a Maya savings account. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.